Welcome to the Gamescape, everybody. My name is Jarek, and today we're back in Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. This is episode 29 of our playthrough. And in our previous episode, we had another little problem. Uh, Vakir started complaining about the research terminals in the, in the Libris not being up to snuff. Lunette may have hinted that the condition of the terminals might have something to do with her uh, maltreatment of the system. But regardless, we ended up tasking four of our servitors to fix the terminals to be back in better shape for her to work. Uh, we got a fairly long mission in. Uh, we ran pretty late last time, uh, but it was it wasn't that the mission went badly. It was just long. We just uh, it was a bloom spawn mission and the two bloom spawns were on opposite sides of the map and it just took time to get to them and deal with them and then get over to the other one and deal with it. Uh, the mission itself went fairly smoothly. I, we were taking some damage. We didn't have as many Medicaid skulls as we normally have, but uh, we got through it. Some knights got hurt. We did get quite a few promotions out of it. Um, we did pick up another 10 servitors as well from doing that mission, uh, but because we had to fix Vakir's terminal, otherwise she would start pouting, uh, then now we don't have enough to upgrade the plasma drive uh, or the plasma core which we need to do to get the warp drives upgraded so that we can get to missions faster and not be missing all of these missions because we can't get to them in time. So uh, we got three days left on the gun battery repairs. Uh, by that time, we're not going to have the 24 servitors that we need to get the plasma drive upgraded. So I don't know if we're going to, we'll probably just wait for our next set of, uh, next set of servitors, or maybe we'll get some, uh, well, you know, yeah, I mean, it's going to be 30 days, but, uh, well, we can get them the hard way, probably, just by getting them in, but, uh, uh it's going to be more than 30 days, it's going to be almost 40, probably. We can probably get another mission in before then and actually get them that way, so I don't know, but, uh, anyway, that's kind of where we're standing right now. We did get some, up, some, uh, Malchus. promotions here, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at these guys real quick. Brother Malchus. So a couple of things we could do with him. We could get him the Ren the Unclean Discipline. We could get him Hammer Hand and get him working down into Force Strike upgrades for his, sorry, for his, more, for his melee weapons. We could do that. We could get him another equipment slot so that he has an extra passive gear slot. Plus we could get him, uh, he could get to where he could give three action points and a, and a will point. Although the cost of that is pretty expensive. It's one action point and four will points to do that. So that's not one that we can do often. And you have to be pretty careful with that. Uh, this one is 50% chance to reload when he hits zero ammo. And this one would increase his uh, plus two crit damage. So that's something that we could look at too. I'm not entirely sure which direction I want to go. Um, I'm leaning toward uh, getting him maybe this and also a little bit more willpower because he only has five will points right now which isn't really enough to do much of the things that he does and so maybe that's what we do start working him up into here or we could pick this one and grab this one too um, this one isn't that great though this one uh, warp charge his hammer hand to inflict bleed as well um, like I said in previous episodes I'm not that big of a fan of bleed uh, it's just really very little damage and it takes a long time and even if it's going to kill the other guy it's not going to happen until after he gets to act again so what i'm thinking maybe we get him the war gear slot and we also get him some more willpower that'll get him to seven and then we can do something with that war gear slot too this is a bit passive uh but it's gonna put him in better shape willpower wise and allow him to use his his uh, area effect attack more often and allow him to transfer action points more often too. So I think we're going to do that. I know it's a little bit passive, but I think it's going to be good for him. And then maybe next time we grab this and another two points of willpower or something like that. So I think that's the play here. Uh, next guy up, we have Ruger. Brother Rugen. Our Purgator has uh, two points as well. So similar here, we could go a couple of ways. We could start getting him into better weapons, better ranged weapons. Uh, this ability is garbage, unless you're giving him bolters, which we're not. 
Uh, but this one isn't too bad. Uh, range attacks have plus two crit damage, which applies to when he does astral aim. Uh, his astral aim, this is interesting too. Uh, he could go with warp charge to activate armor piercing on it. And we could also get him uh, when he crits, which is automatic with this, then he has a 50% chance to gain an action point back. Now that's something. This one, we could also do plus one crit damage here if we wanted to and instead of the armor piercing, although the armor piercing might be okay. Uh, it's just plus one extra willpower. This one is just free. It's just passive. But I'm wondering if we do this because he does use this fairly often. Another one I was looking at is this one uh, where he warp charges his uh, Emperor's Light ability, which blinds. This also purifies 100 uh, purges 100%. So this gets rid of all of the mutations that the um, that the demons are giving themselves every turn, which maybe is a decent play too. So that's going to become more and more uh, needed, I think, more and more necessary. Uh, we could give him more grenades, but I don't know if that's really needed exactly. So I don't know. This is interesting. And then he could get some more willpower out of there too. He's already at nine. He's got a decent amount of willpower. So maybe what we do is we'll keep this one in the back of our minds, but I think maybe what we do is we grab one more crit damage and then also when he uh, crits, he gains, uh, has a 50% chance to gain an action point. So let's do that. And then last but not least, we have Blood in Brother Invio, our new librarian. Uh, he is... I don't know where I want to go with him exactly. Uh, he needs more willpower. I don't want to just give him willpower, which we could do. This is an interesting ability over here. This is choose a target within range 10 to deal three damage with no stun. One action point. That's it. Just an action point. And that ignores cover. Uh, he has to have line of sight, presumably. But, uh, you know, even if whoever it is is behind full cover, they still take the damage. It can be given unlimited range and it can upgrade the damage to, to four. And then they also uh, warp charge for armor piercing. So, I mean, that's interesting. That seems like a decent ability and it gets us into a couple of other damaging abilities. The other ones on this side are more defensive. Uh, these are a lot of well, I mean, this this group here is just his Aegis shield. But if we get over here, uh, we start looking at armor for the rest of the soldiers. Uh, this one up here, we're looking at upgrades to a storm bolter, uh, plus crit damage, plus crit damage. Uh, Cybolt gains armor piercing, return fire. Uh, not as exciting, but these abilities down here give uh, the entire squad armor. Uh, so the blast area, well, not the whole squad, blast area over three at range 15. All knights gain plus three armor for one turn. And it's not that expensive. It's a little bit expensive, but it can get up to plus five armor. And it also gets, he gets the ability to 25% chance to activate his Aegis shield automatically, even if he's not using the power stave. I don't know if this stacks with the power stave where it, it is on top of that. Uh, I don't know, but that's kind of interesting. So. We're going to go that way at some point. I don't think we're going to do it right now because I do want to get this ability just because it's an alternative uh, if he needs, you know, if he's out of ammo and he needs it or if somebody's in, in cover and they need to get, uh, you know, beat down. Plus, it's given him two more two more will points. Uh, so that's good. That'll be more. Uh, he has a really this this teleport the whole team ability is really expensive. Uh, it costs five will points to activate that. That's half what he has now uh, with the extras. So I think that's what we're going to do. Then next time, maybe we start looking to get down into this area here. So I think that's what we're going to do. So let's... Uh... Oh, he gets two levels. Ooh, he gets two levels. Okay, well, this is different. Maybe we do this too. Or we could do the extra damage and the unlimited range. That was something. One action point. 
four damage at, at unlimited range. I think that's pretty decent. I think we're going to go with that. And then next time, maybe we start working on his Aegis Shield. The, the, the problem with this Aegis Shield stuff is this is all warp charge. It's not like the Justicar where it upgrades the shield itself. This is only if he warp charges it, which eh, kind of negates the whole thing of having it go off at the end of the turn for free, right? I mean, I don't know. If you need it, you need it, I suppose. And, and it's available. But I think we're going to just hold off on it for now. Let's do this. I like the idea of uh, having this damage, unlimited range, four damage just for an action point. I think we're going to do that. Okay, so there's that. And we cannot get to this mission in time. And we cannot get to this mission in time, not even close. So what we're going to do, uh, so here, here's the problem is this mission up here is going to go to four. So we're going to have level four bloom, level four corruption here. We've got level four corruption here. We're going to have level three over here. We already have level three over here. So that's going to get really gross too. And so I think the only thing we can really do at this point is centralize and go after the one that's in the worst shape. And so I, I don't know how far away to move because what do we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven apart, two, three. This is the middle, one, two, three. So if we go here, we're pretty close to the same to each. I mean, it's not exactly, but uh, it's close. Uh, we can attune our Prognosticar again, which is nice. We we do have our Prognosticar back. Um, I was looking for good places to do that. There are a couple of them here that we're going to get six out of. This would be one. But there's nothing really going on here other than missions that are or, or systems that aren't really having any problems yet. And so I don't know. I mean, we could go here. We could get five, including the the trouble systems that a few of the trouble systems that we're having. That would reduce the bloom on this one down to zero, or the the corruption on here down to zero. We could do the same thing here, but we wouldn't get our level four. I don't want to do the level four because it's just right on the edge here. It'll get four other systems, but that's a little. I don't know. Well, maybe that's the right choice. I guess. Get this. Get it down to two. And then we can cheat this way just a little bit farther and not worry about it. What if we did it up here instead? That's only going to get two systems if we do it that way. This will at least get four systems extra. So why don't we... I almost say it seems better if we do a uh, six system like this one, though. It just seems like a better use. That one's five. This one is five, six here. This one is a trouble system, though. We have some issues here. Let's go here. Um, it's probably a mistake. That one would get five. This one would get five. This one would get six. But this one doesn't really count, I don't think, because that's the uh, that's the craft world. And again, these aren't really hurting. This would solve a problem because this is a problem. Yeah, let's, I hate to put it on the edge like that, but I think we have to. All right, so then we can take the ship and we can get the ship going up to here. And if something happens down here, we can still come down and get it, but we'll see what happens. I don't know. And now we just wait. We're going to have to build up some servitors. We're going to have our guns repaired here in about two shakes of a lamb's tail. 
Guns are fixed. We don't have enough to go on the warp drive. Unfortunately, the plasma reactor, we need 24. We have 20. We have to wait for four more servitors. I think we have to wait. I think we have to. Because, uh... We could get another prognosticar. 27 days, nine servitors. Meditation chambers up. Apothecary, and I'm not that interested in. Probably should be, but I'm not. Barracks upgrade. Eh. I think we really need this so that we can get the warp drive upgraded to another plus 20% ship speed. Because we're just not getting to these places fast enough, so we're going to have to just wait. As soon as we have 24, we can start working on that. Okay, works. research project finished. Uh, do we start working on these? We can do any of them except for the purple one. This will, this is a uh, reduced cost to make purity seals is what this is. We have the uh, we have the stratagems that we want for now. Uh, this one is okay, I guess. This would give us another slot. Why don't we work towards this other? Well, the slots, purple seeds. <laughs> Which we don't have any of yet, so... That's 19 days. These are 11 days each. I think we can go with these. Let's go... Yeah, let's start working on these, I guess. The only other stuff here is like negatives to... This one, uh, minus 10 warp surge per turn. I mean, that's not too bad. Gives our knights a little bit more breathing room between warp surges. That's 13 days. Let's do that. I think that's fine. All right. Twenty-one servitors. Gonna get another bloom pop here anytime. Twenty-two servitors. Research complete. Minus ten warp surge per turn. Okay. That's fine. This one gets us minus 15. All knights recover three will points. Now, let's start working on these. Death Guard cruisers running around in the backfield up there. All right, here we go. Bloom spawn. Where are we at? One, two, three. We have purple seeds up here. That's in a warp storm, unfortunately. That's going to make things interesting. What's our reward here? Requisition. Oh. This one is a spreader, again. I mean, we kind of have to go to the spreader because it's going to put this one to level four if we don't. And it's going to put this one to level four too. Kind of don't have a choice. I don't want to do it, but uh, kind of have to. What are we getting for our reward here? At least give me, no, let's give me Grimoires. At least give me servitors. But no, no servitors. 23 servitors. We need one more. Okay. Let's get the next seed in line. Almost. Almost have enough. Not quite there.
All right, grimoires. Tier two power armor, tier two halberd. Everything else is tier one. Gonna get a grenade. Gonna get a chaplain. Might be worth it. Just to see what they can do. I have some uh, guys that could probably be benched. Um, anyway, what's our thing here? Want a mission with no critical injuries? Yeah, we're gonna go for that. I mean, if we don't get it, we don't get it. All right, so same thing here. Um, I think the same team actually can go here. I think we're good, honestly. Uh, who do we just upgrade? Somebody just got a new war gear slot that they are. I think it was you. Load out gets the equipment slot. Yep, for passive gear. All right, so we can get him either plus two max will points or plus two crit damage and plus 15% crit for melee. That's not bad. Plus two willpower wouldn't hurt him either. Bring him up to nine. He doesn't use his hammer as much as Brother Boars does. He doesn't. So maybe... Maybe we go with this. Get him the extra will points. Okay. Other than that, I think everybody's decent, decently ready to go. Uh, can we fix his loadout at all? He's got a Psy Cannon. He's got just a normal Psy Cannon. Not sure which one of these the other guy has. Melee weapon, he's got his hammer. He's got the big hammer. Can get upgrades. Can get quite a few upgrades, actually. Plus two stun on the force strike. So it goes to three. The, the problem is the guys that we're up against right now, they have so much stun. I mean, they're they're getting up to where they have nine or 12 stun. It's like you're not going to get enough done. I mean, it's just. Unless you really, really focus on stunning and you've got your apothecary helping you out with more stun, then then you can do it. But other than that, it just doesn't seem like it's uh, really that uh, useful. Plus one crit can go to plus three crit, plus 20 crit. Instead of plus 10. That might be worth it. Can we do that one? We have enough. Cost us six. That would leave us with seven. And we could do this one too. That would also leave us with seven reds. We're in a green right now, so we're not going to get any more of these. But that still leaves us quite a few of each. I, don't, I think we can do this. Upgrade that. It's a tier 3 weapon. There's no reason not to upgrade it. We could even upgrade the base damage on it. We'd have only one red seed left, though. Let's wait on that. Let's wait on that. Okay. Um, you... Let's look at your weapon as well. No. Nope. So you've got this one, just the level two. Uh, the only thing we could do here would be to gain plus one armor on the Aegis shield, which isn't the worst, but it's kind of expensive for that. So let's just wait on that. It's not, not really necessary. Our new halberd, what's it looking like here? That's right. Plus two damage on the force strike. And plus 15 more percent chance, so plus 30% 30, 30 chance to trigger uh, if something moves next to him. Oh, no, 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 sorry, this is gain a will point.
This is an interesting weapon for our librarian. Because he's got plus 25% already for all of these things. So he'd go to 40% chance when activating force strike to gain a will point. Uh, I don't know. Not this time. Not this time. We need to get into this mission. Um, let's just go ahead and jump in here and we'll deal with the rest of this later. This cesspit stinks of Nurgle's filth. Then we have found what we seek. Replete with seeds, the bloom spawn will sow a foul harvest if we do not stop it now. Yeah, that always seems to be the uh be the case. Oh, we got two bloom spawns on this one. That's gonna make that thing tough. Spreader's gonna have ten armor. One of the uh bloom spawns is behind it. The other is out of the way. Oof. That's rough. That is rough. It's not that far out of the way. Might be worth taking it. I don't know. That's... This is, uh... Hmm. So we're going to have a fight there, too. Nothing we're going to be able to do about that. What is your will? Do we just go straight for it and deal with the extra armor? Can we go straight for it? Oh, we have to kind of come around this way, don't we? And then get up into here. We get up here, we might be able to get up that. Boy, this is ugly map. We're gonna have to be able to get up there. So our best bet in, fastest route in is here. We're gonna pass about three, three vents it looks like. Ooh. I don't even know if I can get this vent without triggering a uh, triggering these guys over here, whoever they are. Okay, so let's look at this route. If we go this way, take that out, that's going to delay us. Um, we don't have, it doesn't look like there's much in the way of vents over here. There's one. There's one. We're only going to have about two or three vents. Plus, we're going to have the excess time to deal with that tree. That's going to be four turns easy. I don't think we can afford to go that way. I think we have to go this way. Um, I can try and sneak over here and get this vent. And hope that it doesn't trigger anything. With me, my brothers. Okay, he'll be able to teleport to catch up. At your service. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Okay, well, I guess we're rolling this way. Standing ready. Okay, he's got range 10 teleport is all. Really need to get him up to 15. Probably should have done that as part of our upgrade. <laughs> 
that's okay. I'm gonna teleport to here. And then after that he can he could run. Your orders? At once. Unleash me. Yes, sir. Okay, the rest of these guys can start I'm moving up. Sir. Here. It will be done. Okay. Ah. Well, he's new. Um, okay. Got a Dreadnought, a Hellbrute, oh boy, okay. Uh, he's not that, yes, he is that tough. That's 13 stun, 30 health, he's mechanical, 8 armor, 5 speed, 5 crit, 100% resistance. Uh, enraged Rush, gain an auto Enraged Rush, 100%. When hit, the Hellbrute charges his attacker to grab them, throwing them next turn. Grab target knight. They cannot act this turn. Next turn, deal four damage. Bull rush. Charge in any single direction up to range 10 to deal four damage to all targets with knockback. Plasma cannon. Charge shot. Set a blast area three at range 14. Next turn, deal nine damage. Armor break two. Knockback. Cover shot. Uh, blast area over two. Blast over area range 2, range 14 to destroy cover. Uh, he is immune to panicked, plagued, and knocked back. Uh, Self-destruct on death, set a blast over area 5. Next turn, deal 6 damage. Armor break 1, knockback. Power scourge, strike an adjacent target to deal 5 damage. Target a pla plasma cannon, area 2, range 10, deal 6 damage. Armor break 1, we already saw that. Okay. Well, that is frightening. Orders. That's something. He's, yeah, he's targeting there. I'm wondering. Yes, Commander. Okay, well, first of all, this guy absolutely needs a kill zone and get rid of some of that armor. He's not going to be affected by the kill zone itself because he's got 100% resistance. But uh, at least that gets rid of a bit of that armor. For good. And then this is gonna take him to one action point. I can't hit him. Okay, I can get to here and hit him. It will be done. See if I can get rid of something on this guy. Okay, we can blind him. Armor break four. Stun, disables melee weapon, or afflict crazed. Um, 
Disabling that melee weapon seems like it's not the worst idea. I wish I could blow up that plasma cannon, to be honest. A little more worried about that than the melee weapon, but... At least this way, if he bum rushes us, we, he can't uh, hit us. Or I could just break his armor. Now nah, let's get rid of that melee weapon. That thing seems like it's a problem. Okay. Oh, he got a uh, action point. Well, do we do it again? Oh, we can't do it again. Okay. Can't blind him. Let's wait. No, Chris. Do psychic on slot here. I aim true. I need to get my bolter back that does armor break. Opening fire. My blade is yours. Do we have line of sight on him from here? Yeah. Um, you know what though? We might as well just drop some damage on him. We're gonna get another 12 damage on him here. Is that... Oh, he only gets to do that once. Okay. That makes sense. there. Uh, I don't know if this is better or not. Let's blow it up. When in doubt, blow something up, right? Let's just shoot him again. Boy, can you imagine this guy with helpers? He had other guys with him? That would be terrible. Oh, goodness. Okay, warp surge. Enemy melee attacks inflict immobilized for the next three turns. That's okay. Because guess who can't melee attack? I get everybody up close to him, finish him off. We use a lot of willpower. We use a lot of willpower. Let's do it. Travel unseen path. Ok, 
Okay, we're gonna try and let him get the uh Yes, Commander. Oh. Um Yo, come on. So you got six left. Seven left. Armed and ready. Firing on target. Okay, let's let the librarian get the kill because he spent all those points on the teleport. Also, because he needs the XP. Oh, he's gonna miss the Oh, that's right. We have time to get away from him. Forgot about the explosion. All right, well, what are we near? No vents. Was another vent out here, I thought. Uh, we can't get across there, even if we go up. So we're going to have to go back this way. Teleport wasn't quite needed. As ordered. Well, I do not like him. Do not like. Like, imagine if he had, like, Plague Marines backing him up. Hey, green seed. At your service. Seven turns. Yes. I sent something near. Oh, good. Another fight that we get to take before we get in there. Uh, there's another vent. Oh, that's another seed, unfortunately. Or is that a vent? That is a vent. At once. Well, that gives us eight turns. Praise the Emperor. Moving swiftly. Unleash me. At once. We're going to have to kick it off. What's this? The Emperor's dogs? Another vent there. That's good. Oh, sighted. Standing ready. How is he doing? He's got taking position. Not many will points. How are we doing here? How do we not have a prognosticar? We do have a prognosticar. Don't understand that. Um, hmm.
break up all that armor. It's gonna put him down to one. Missed one of them. At your command. Catch all of those guys. It's worth it. He hasn't spent any will points yet. Need more rounds. able to kill him. Probably the right choice. Is he down will points? No, he's not. So second shot's going on him. any decent cover around here that's still got line of sight. Um, Alright, so he can do this. He can smite this guy and finish him. That's a will point back. Mercy in death. And he can get to here, full cover. A gift for my master. They won't. Okay. Corp surge, open reinforcements, two reinforcements left. Okay, let's kill this guy. I don't have line of sight to him. I come here, I do. him off so you can get a will point back uh, it's gonna cost you some hits though ready to serve put your shield up the Aegis shield up It will be done. Less than nothing. I am his will. He needs to get some points back so that we can armor break the tree I at least once. My rounds.
Grab his that seed from him. Oh, not a okay. with All right, what's coming up behind us for reinforcements? Oh, oh, another one, great. Target acquired. Magical. All right. Okay, first of all. You skull seed. Thank you. But we're in bad shape for time. far can you teleport? Just enough to drop us all right into the mess. This guy got a plague cannon or has he got a bolter? Bolter. Your command. Oh, he needs to reload one way or another. Why is that only doing one damage? Get to here. Oh, because he's blinded, that's why. They all got blinded, yeah. that's right. We got the shot from here. I mean, is that what's going on? Is he blinded? Yes. Minus two damage from ranged attacks.
Well, I mean, nothing I can do about it this turn. I'm just going to have to get into cover. Is he blinded too? No. I guess. I don't want to blow that up. I don't want to risk blowing that cover up. This is one will point. He's not going to be affected though. Uh, just put your shield up. What a mess this is. Still blinded? No. All right, now we can get some work done. Taking position. For Titan. Wait. At your command. Reload. Ready. What is your will? Finish him? Yes. Yes, Commander. Need the will points on him. Uh, empty. Scramming ready. Puts us back to six. I am here to serve. Death to the enemy. Ah! I must rearm. As ordered, their fire will be useless.
Okay. Time to teleport. Here's good. Oh, it's undefended. Is it really undefended? Oh, no, nope, there they are. No, nope, not even close to undefended. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Praise the Emperor. I am here to serve. Let's get the seed. Just look the at the vile thing. Show it no mercy. The warp shudders below. Be swift, Commander. The enemy attempts to intervene. Oh, goodness. I've claimed the seed. Your command. All right, where are we at? What is your will? Your orders. Ready to serve. Everybody's Clear. good. Yes, Commander. The will points. What is your will? He's got enough to get us down right next to it, which we're going to do. He's gonna teleport us right into it. We travel unseen paths. Resists my will. Okay. Now I need you standing ready. Right here. Armor break. Right like that. Warp charge that up. Brothers, I have lost our target. I must meditate. Thinking about something. Leads. He's got one point left. Let's wait. Actual service. Gonna need some skulls going on here too. Who's got a skull? Yes, Medical Commander. skull. He needs one. He needs one too. My wrath is restored, brother. He's got the plague gun, doesn't he? Yeah, although he can do some damage from where he is. Oh, I don't want to waste the actions on this guy. Vengeance! Heal himself. And then sh 
move and then a shot. We're not going to kill him. It's the problem. And then we got a whole bunch more guys coming in right after this. Got five turns left. Might as well attack here. We have to move next to it anyway. That probably doesn't do any good, but... Yeah, use up the side bolts. If we can get rid of him, that'll help. Who needs a kill? Let's get uh, plus two card going here. Hit here. That's got, yeah, it's got a bunch. One. Have to get in next to it. I mean, we have to. We don't have a choice. Uh, he can't reload. Or he has to reload. Yeah, reload. How's he doing for wolf points? He's got a lot. So we're going to give a couple to somebody else. Him. He's going to start beating on the tree. I'm going to shoot him. You've got one left, and nothing else you can do. You have to reload. Oh, you could uh, heal him. That would be something you can do before you do anything else. And then let's reload. Okay, and then our librarian needs to kill this guy. He's not going to be able to do it, is he? Oh, he can do a Cybolt. Okay, good. That's good. And then he's got one hit left. Might as well get a little bit of damage on here. Or he could do a little damage to everybody over here. It's only three points, but... Soften everybody up a little bit. Alright, that's it for this turn. 
Now we find out where we really get hammered. Let's do melee damage. Auto resurrect. Hobbled. I don't care about hobbled. Okay. Who's coming in? Three more Marines. Any of these guys play, or any of these guys uh, play cannons. One of your knights has hobbled for three turns. Yeah, that's perfectly okay. Okay. Can you armor break again. What are you at? You're at zero will points. That other one go. Oh, he's standing on the vent. No, nope, they're all bolters. That's excellent. Okay. Well, hmm. Praise the Emperor. I think we're just gonna have to wail on the tree. through all this armor and he's gonna have to be given out his will points okay let's do that before I forget and we're gonna give those to the librarian because he's got another decent weapon Kill, shoot the tree, or do I focus on the tree or do I kill this guy? Killing this guy will be good. Give him a little point back at least, although just one isn't going to help really, but. Uh... If I blow that up, I can't. I can kill him. Or I can do another six damage to the tree. Six damage here. He's gonna get Red blade is yours. five times four is twenty. I think I can kill it this turn. I am here to serve. I think I can kill it this turn. So let's do that. Two rounds. So I'm gonna get both shots. Might even get three if he auto reloads. I strike true. Opening fire. Oh, there's five. Yep. Ammo depleted. Okay, just reload. Armed and ready. Okay, let's just start working the tree over. Yeah, we got this. We got this. This is over. Me. 
Okay, he's got, what, three action points left. He needs one more to kill the tree. Can he kill this guy in two? He's got no will points left. He's got two rounds left. Not going to get it. It's going to be short. All right, that's fine. Just kill the tree then. There we go. Yes. Another vile edifice of corruption do. falls. Well done, Commander. All right. Ten more seeds. We got two, two uh, requisition. Pick up another grimoire, reduce the corruption. Um, see what we get for gear. So we have a chaplain, which I am tempted to take so we can see what they're like. Uh, we have some, uh, I think we would send an apothecary back. I think they are the, I think they're the um, upgraded apothecaries. What's our bolter here look like? Uh, it's only range 8, 4 damage, 3 rounds, plus 10% crit, plus 1 crit damage. Upgradable. I don't like the 8 range. Not, not a fan. Um, this is 5 damage on the halberd with plus 1 crit. Uh, upgradable to 6 damage. Upgradable to 10% crit. Upgradable to plus 2 crit damage. Nice. About the same as the one we already picked up, so I don't think we're going to bother with that one. Uh, we have a power armor suit that's plus four health, plus two willpower, upgradable to plus three willpower, and upgradable to four more max hit points, it looks like. Okay, but not great. Crack grenade. Ooh, crack grenade. Um, range 10, area one, deals three damage. Reduces target armor by two permanently. That might be a nice thing for us to have because breaking armor isn't ever a bad thing. I wonder if we only get one. I think we only get one. So we'd have to select who gets it. But we have uh, soldiers that get extra rounds, extra crack grenades. So that would be something we could definitely do. Let's buy the crack grenade. And I do want the chaplain. We're going to have to send somebody back for for that, but I think we can do that. Okay, so we need to swap out. So we're going to get a uh, chaplain. We're going to send back probably an apothecary. Oof, we're going to have to give up a plus five, a level five for him. Um, actually, let's send back this Purgator, Brother Neoden. I I have a couple of really good ones already. Neoden. I think this is fine. Because I want the Chaplain. I want to see what his abilities are. All right. Let's do that. All right. Show me level ups. Got one on our Librarian. Very nice. Well, we're over time again, guys. Uh, this is another one of those missions that just took a while. I uh, had to sort through some some kind of gross stuff. Uh, we are just right on the precipice of being able to upgrade our power core, our plasma reactor. And so we'll probably get to that immediately next time. And we will get our level up done next time as well. But for this session, I think we're going to call it good. So if you've enjoyed this, do me a big favor. Hit that like button for me. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. And we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.